So the Strickland Protocol is called an active in place and hold mobilization, and it's also Nancy Cannon is one of is at, with the Indiana Hand Center, and this is where this treatment protocol originated. So basically, it's place and hold. So the digits are placed into a motion, and you ask your patient to gently hold the position. So they don't actually get the fingers there. The fingers are positioned there by the therapist, and then the patient is just told to hold that position and try to keep that position. So as the digits are passively placed in flexion, the patient then tries to maintain them, and they are taught to only use a minimal force. Sometimes you can even use biofeedback, but a lot of times in my uh, clinic when I use this model, I just say, just try kind of with a baby force or try half hard. I don't want you to try all the way. Just try to use the bare amount of force necessary just to try to keep those digits from extending. So the, in the early stage, up to four weeks, they typically, when they started this, they used two different types of orthotic devices. They had a dorsal blo blocking orthosis that was worn most of the time with the wrist in about 20 degrees of flexion, the MP joints about 50 degrees. So the exercise orthosis actually had a hinge wrist, which allowed the wrist into full flexion, but the wrist was extension was limited to about 30 degrees. Full digit flexion and full IP extension are allowed, but the MP extension is limited by that dorsal block to about 60 degrees.